Ever wondered why certain skincare products work wonders for others but not for you? Now we all have our own individual needs and concerns and in order to make these products work for you, you first need to identify what your skin type and concern is. Now mine is not only combination to oily but also sensitive which means I have to be really careful with what I use. A lot of us tend to think that our skin is sensitive but that may not always be the case. So how do you know if your skin is sensitive too? If you easily develop redness, rashes, acne breakouts or even sunburns instantly due to maybe sun exposure, new treatments, shaving, waxing or even when you've tried out a new cosmetic or a skincare product, then maybe you have sensitive skin. Now rule number one for sensitive skin is to pick products that are actually mild for you, have 0% alcohol, are free of parabens and also should not contain perfume. To start off with, removing makeup the right way and with the right product is key. Now we all know that while doing our makeup removal routine, we tend to go over and over the same areas, rubbing and tugging at our skin, which tends to irritate our skin further. So we should use something that is mild and doesn't require too many swipes to take the makeup off. I really like Bioderma's Micellar Cleansing Solution because it's really mild and takes off the makeup really easily without going over and over again. This variant is great for combination to oily and sensitive skin because it regulates sebum production and also doesn't clog the pores. You don't need to rinse with water once you're done. Just pat your face dry with a towel or tissue. Also, sometimes you might be feeling too lazy or you just don't have the time to get rid of your makeup. Then for that, you could reach out for these cleansing facial wipes by Simple. Moving on to face wash. I would recommend Cetaphil's face cleanser. It's mild and soap free and it's perfect for sensitive skin. It's also moisturizing at the same time so it does not dry up your skin too much. So once you've dampened your face with some water, just take one or two pumps of the cleanser and massage it all over your face. You'll notice that this is a mild lathering formula which is perfect for everyday cleansing. Now that you're done with your cleansing, I would suggest go for an alcohol-free toner. I like to use Avene's Thermal Spring Water. Not just after cleansing, but I also reach out for this spray when I've been out and about under the sun. This soothing and refreshing spray calms down your irritated skin and can also be used after shaving and waxing or even after your workout. Moving on to the next step, which is using a serum. This Dot & Key Skin Awakening Moisture Boost Serum is enriched with vitamins C and E and that's perfect for glowing skin and plumping up the skin. It also doesn't contain chemicals like parabens and alcohol, so again, perfect for sensitive skin, right? A lot of us tend to skip this step out, but in fact, you should use it twice a day, both in your morning and night skincare routines. A serum basically deeply penetrates into the skin and hydrates it, plumps it and gives it a glow from within. A. I have oily skin and B. I do not like using too many products in my skincare routine. So, I tend to avoid moisturizers in the morning and I only use a moisturizer in the night. For that, I would recommend Kiehl's Centella Sensitive Sika Cream. This one's pretty thick, so you don't need a lot. And again, upwards and circular motions. Use a product that contains good ingredients that suit sensitive skin, such as zinc oxide. Another Dermat recommended brand is La Shield, and this matte sunscreen gel is just perfect. You want to apply a generous amount all over your face and neck. Another good thing is that it's water resistant, so if you're going for swimming or a beach holiday, this one would be a good pick. So now these are products that I use for my everyday skincare routine. Moving on to products that I would use once or twice a week. Many a times, people avoid exfoliating their skin because it tends to cause inflammation and redness. But you should use something that is mild for your skin and gentle, such as Belief's Mild and Effective Facial Scrub. As you massage the product onto your skin, you'll notice that the gel turns into fibrous particles which helps in exfoliating the skin. Another skincare step that you should totally do at least once or twice a week would be using a good face mask that suits both your skin type and is also mild and gentle for sensitive skin. I would suggest going the natural route always so either you cook up a DIY at home or use this Forest Essentials Facial Uptan. 
Multani Mitti is great for oily skin because it absorbs excess oil off of your skin. Also clears out pigmentation and acne spots if any. You only need to mix one tablespoon of Multani Mitti with either aloe vera juice or even rose water and apply it all over your face for 15 to 20 minutes. Many a times our skin turns red or gets irritated and you need something to instantly calm your skin down. That's when you can use something like Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream or the Face Shop's Fresh Jeju Aloe Refreshing Ice Gel. For the most part, you need to be observant about how your skin reacts to products and make the right switch. For example, if you're allergic to waxing or shaving, then opt for laser hair reduction treatments. You could also stay away from perfumes and use essential oils instead. Also, stay away from anti-aging products because they may contain ingredients that could harm your skin further. I would also suggest that you visit a dermatologist for a personalized consultation if need be. I hope you like this video and if you have any questions or requests, please ask them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Nika TV for lots more coming soon.